Hey guys, how's it going? So I just finished making these really cute pressed flower ornaments and I wanted to share with you how I made them because I think they're really easy, they're inexpensive, and they're completely unique to you and your garden. A couple of my favorites, this one right here with the lavender, this is the Sweet Romance Lavender we grew in front of the vegetable garden. And then this one here has buried treasure red strawberries, Lady Godiva yellow calendula. There's a zinnia that pressed pretty decently. Um, I really like the shape of this one here with more lavender. I think that's really cute and kind of like a sleek look. Um, really pretty violas. There's some hookera. This is a wildberry hookera. And you know, you can make them really bright like this or deeper colors, whatever you like. But you don't necessarily need to have a garden full of gorgeous flowers to do this project because you can probably see behind me, we're losing leaves right now. I mean, I could probably scrounge around and find some decent looking stuff, but you could press leaves and flowers off of your house plants. You could go to the grocery store and buy an inexpensive bundle of flowers to press. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can use whatever you want for a project like this. Uh, so I just wanna go through the whole process. So first off, you have to make the white ornaments. And to do that, you'll need to get a saucepan and measure out one cup of baking soda and pour it in. Then measure out one half cup of cornstarch and put that in your pan and then three quarters cup of warm water. And you'll whisk all of those things together until they feel thoroughly blended. At that point, you'll put your saucepan on the stove and turn your burner to medium. And you'll wanna switch spoons to something more normal because a whisk won't work, the mixture gets way too thick. And you'll stir for about four to five minutes is how long it took me for the, the mixture to start bubbling and pulling away from the sides of the pan. It'll kind of resemble a really soft Play-Doh. And when that happens, you'll take your saucepan off the stove and let it cool off for a few minutes. And after that's done, it usually takes three to four minutes. The dough will still be a little bit warm, but you'll turn it out onto your counter and knead it a few times until it feels really soft and pliable. Then you'll grab your rolling pin and roll it out. Usually I roll it out to about a quarter inch thickness. You can do whatever thickness you want. The thicker ornaments will take longer to dry. Thinner, of course, will be a lot quicker. So after you've got it all rolled out, you'll use your cookie cutter or the top of a drinking glass or even a knife uh, and cut out your shapes, the shape of your ornaments. And then I use a spatula to help me get them off the counter onto my baking sheet, which I lined with a piece of parchment paper. Then you can grab your knife or a toothpick and you'll wanna make a little hole right at the top of the ornament and that's where you're gonna be threading your twine or ribbon through later. Then you'll pop your whole pan into a 200 degree oven and you'll let them bake for about an hour. It's a little bit less if you've got thin ornaments, a little bit longer if you've got thick ornaments and you can just let them out to the air to dry. It takes a few days, but that's an option as well. When they feel completely dry, I usually start checking at about the 45 minute mark and then every about 10 minutes or so, I check the ornaments until they're dry. I take them out of the oven and let them cool off. It only takes about 10 minutes. I just pop them right off the baking sheet onto the counter and then you can start decorating. So I took all of my gorgeous stuff out of my flower press. I had a bunch of beautiful color and texture to work with. And then you'll want to grab your Mod Podge and a soft paint brush and you'll paint a thin layer layer of the Mod Podge on the back of your leaf or flower. Then you flip it right side up and press it to your ornament and then paint another thin layer over the top of your flower or leaf and then overlap it onto the ornament so that everything is nicely secured. After they're all dry, then you'll grab your twine or ribbon, cut a short little piece, thread it through the hole, tie it off, and then they're ready to hang on your tree. So that's it for this project. It's super easy. This right here is two batches worth of ornaments right here. And when I bought the baking soda and the cornstarch, I bought the biggest boxes that I could find. I think I could get about five or six batches out of those two boxes. So for five or six batches, it would only cost $5 less, you know, the cost of twine which is pretty amazing because you can outfit a tree pretty quickly um, with this many ornaments. And I think it would be really fun to do this every single year, maybe with a different color of dough. So like this year we have white, maybe next year I do a batch and add a little green, maybe the next year we make them like gold. Uh, and so it'd be a really fun way to look back in time and preserve your garden that way. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you give it a try, take pictures, tag me on social media so I can see what you've done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.